Do you believe that Jesus Christ died for everybody? Yes. So, so sister, I know somebody taught you that. You understand? But the world teaches lies. You understand? The world teaches us lies. The white man, the other nation taught us lies. The lies come be behind this, this religion. This white image, behind this white image, you understand? Be yeah, but that is where they posted. The white man put our people in slavery and taught us that Christ came and died for everybody. Do you believe that this Bible is for, uh, for all races on the face of the earth? No. Eh? No. Supposed to be. Come, come, come. You're doing now. That is what the world say. But this Bible don't say that. You understand? Christ then came for everybody. This normal King James. Christ then died for everybody. The Bible say that. Let me get Luke 168 now and show you, my brother. The world teaching, the Roman Catholic Church teaching. Hey, brother, come, one minute. Come, 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 come. My brothers, my brothers. Come, 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 come. The Roman Catholic Church teach that this Bible is for everybody. The Pentecostal Church teach that this Bible is for everybody. But when you read this Bible, there's a Bible you are here, brother. When you read this Bible, this Bible is not for everybody. Do you believe that this Bible is written for all races on the earth? Huh? Answer. No. No. So who this Bible was written to? And for? Who? What nation are people? Jesus. For Jesus? No. This Bible wasn't written by Jesus. You understand? This Bible wasn't written for everybody. Watch this. I'm going to show you this. Who Christ came and died for? Give me that in Luke 168. The book of Luke. Chapter 1 and verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So the Bible said, Blessed be the Lord God of who? Israel. The Bible said, Blessed be the Lord God of who? Israel. Read on. For he had visited and redeemed his people. For he had visited and redeemed his people. He came for his people. He didn't came for everybody. Read on. And had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets because Christ came to the lineage of David is the seed is the seed of David Christ you know and he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which has been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies the Israelites brethren have enemies our people the so-called African people in Trinidad and Tobago have enemies who did this to us who put our people in slavery? Who forced religion upon us? The Europeans, my brother, right? We have enemies, uncle. The world does not teach us the truth. Read on. That we shall be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Christ coming back to save Israel. That's so what the enemies. We have enemies. All nations have put us in slavery. The East Indian, the Chinese, the Arabs, the all nations, but no John 316. John 316? Where was the John 316 when they were doing this to us? Where was the John 316? Where was the first progression of the world, brother? The church teaching this lie and telling us God loves everybody. Bring it out. But that's a lie. This Bible is not for everybody. Brethren, you're going to church this morning. What church are they go to? Who long, Elder? What church are they go to? Where's the name of your church? Faith Center. Did Faith Center ever teach you that this Bible is only for the Israelites and Christ only came to die for the Israelites? Mm. So that means the church teaching what? They're teaching lies, brethren. That's you understand? Right. The church teaching lies. Elder, watch this. Let me show you when Jesus was about to born. The message that his mother gets. Give me that in Matthew. 
the message. Let me start from the foundation. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. Bring it up. Matthew, the book, Matthew, the New Testament version in your Bible. Matthew 1, 21. Here we see. Read. And she shall bring forth a son. This is Mary. She shall bring forth a son. Read on. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, the anointed one, the Christ. Read on. For he shall save his people. For he shall save everybody. For he shall save his people. For he shall save his people. Christ only came to die for the Israelites. That's right. Christ then came for all the nations, brother. Moms, my little, my mother, my little brother, brother. Christ then died for everybody. Give me that in verse 2. Moms, come a little closer. They're my mama. They're my mom. They're my little brother. Come. They're my sister. She can be my sister. What just Elder? Don't worry, leave. Moms. Sister, I show you out of the Bible that this Bible was only for the Israelites. Christ only came and died for the Israelites. The Bible says the world teaches Christ as a white man and he died for everybody. Dies a lie. But out of the Bible, look, my brother going to church. You understand? The church never teach him this. But listen up, read it. Read it over. Look for Matthew 1. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. So Mary bring forth a child, and be, she, his name was Jesus. Read on. For he shall save his people from their sins. He going to save his people from their sins. Not everybody. You understand that, sister? Jesus Christ only came to die for one race of people on the face of the earth, the Bible says. That's Let right. Let me go to the next chapter, read verse 4. Chapter? All right, sister, do you believe, right? I don't put my sister on this spot, but we here. We are, these are people, right? Do you believe that Jesus Christ died for everybody? Yes. So, so, sister, I know somebody taught you that. You understand? But the world teaches lies. You understand? The world teach us lies. The white man, the other nation taught us lies. The lies come be behind this, this religion. This white image, behind this white image. You understand? Yeah, but that is where they post it. The white man put our people in slavery and taught us that Christ came and died for everybody. Now we don't see the God in our people. We don't see the love in our people. You know all we see is here. Guns, murder, wine, dance, party, lying. We don't see our people as gods anymore. But what just Elder? Listen up. You're going, you're going now. You're hearing, you're hearing it now. Read. Read on. The book of Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. Bring it on. Thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not thou least among the prince of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor. For out of thee, out of the tribe of Judah, going to come a governor. Read on. That shall rule my people, Israel. That shall rule everybody in the world. That shall rule my people, Israel. This Bible, sister, is only for the Israelites. You know the grafted in the church in Romans 11? Give me that in Romans 11, 26. Just now. Just now. Romans 11, 26. Let me see what the grafted in talking about. Because they say, neither Jew nor Greek, nor born nor free, the Gentiles. Let me see who the Gentiles and the grafted in. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse 26. Bring it out. And so all Israel shall be saved. All nations. And so all Israel shall be saved. God say in the New Testament, Paul writings say only Israel going to be saved. That's right. We don't. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. As it is written, the Bible wrote that only the Israelites are going to be saved. That's right. right. Sister, the world 125, the world teaching us lies. Now you know what? In slavery they used to beat me. Don't read. But now we can read. Now we go to schools. We are subjects. We can read. We can write. Sister, time for us to come out of the churches and start to learn our true nationality, brethren. Do you know your race? Just now, just now. Do you know your race? You're going now, you're going now. Do you know your race, brother? You know your race? Where's your race? Eh? That's important. Sister, where's your race? Is that Israelite? How you know you're Israelite? Because you're black? No, the East Indians black too. But they're not Israelite. But sister, elder, don't, don't worry. I didn't know. Brethren, where's your race? Where's your race? Where's your race? 
Christian. Christian, Christian is a religion. You understand, Elder? Where is your race? I don't know what you are. You know what? You're still racist, you know what? You're amazed, you don't say you don't So watch, if I East Indian pass here, sister, give my sister an umbrella If the race based on if you're African. No, the race is based on who you is as a people. We need one umbrella, we have I don't Watch, get get the sister umbrella. Watch it. Watch this, Elder. Watch it. Hey, somebody waiting on there, but this more important. Watch, you don't know your race. If I ask that East Indian, where is your race? East Indian? You know what you say? I that East Indian from Calcutta. Only one race on the face of the earth. You yeah, just ask where is the race and they don't know. No, you will tell you man race. God divided the races. You understand? Let me show you, sister, out of the Bible. The brethren say he don't know his race. Isaiah 1 and verse 3, it was prophesied. It was a prophecy that our people will know our race in the last days. Let me read it and show you Isaiah 1 and 3. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knoweth his owner. An ox, which is a cow, he knows his owner. Read on. And the ass, his master's crib. And a jackass, sister. If he come a real man, and he live in Sawa, he can find his way back home, sister. You agree? An animal. Two dumb animals know who's the master, and they know where they live. But these people, the greatest people on the face of the earth, hear what God's saying about them. Read. But Israel, Doth not know. But the Israelites, sister. The Israelites, they don't know who they is. And you know what some you know something, Elder? What's my brother here? How we edging up the run? Hear what's going on with you people. Yeah, leave it on. My people does not consider. God say his people, they don't even consider. They don't even give thought. You know what? Right now they're running home to cook the Sunday lunch. Right now they're running in the church to, meet, to, to learn more lies. You understand? Our people do not know who they is. Before you leave today, brother, before you leave today, you're going to find out who you are according to the Bible. So give me Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. I will take you. I will show you. Deuteronomy 1 and verse 1. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who Moses speaking to, sister? All who? All who? Israel. Moses speaking to all who? Israel. Moses speaking to the Israelites, right? Give me verse 60, 28 and 68. Before you leave here, sister and brother, you are going to find out and know who you all are. I sure I can assure you that. When you go to church, ask your pastor. A matter of fact, send him a message. Don't go back to church because he's teaching lies. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So one nation of people came across here on cargo spaceship sister. What just here? One nation of people came across here. They say Columbus came across here, the white man. You understand? Rediscovered Trinidad. When Christopher Columbus came across here, they paid to our people. They put our people in slavery. Watch it, brother. Slavery in a boat on cargo slave ships. Watch how they pack up the woman, the man and, and child. Beat us. Have us peeing on each other. If a woman seen she menstruates. You understand? Watch what's going on here. You feel they go and take that woman out of that chain to go and use the toilet? No. It's a long voyage. You understand, sister? They put our people in slavery. Watch your sister. Read. Read on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So one nation of people came across here on cargo slave ships. Tell me. The Israelites, which is the so-called African. Back then they wasn't calling me Israelites. Which way they were calling me? Yes, come a little closer. To be sold a cargo of 94 prime healthy Negroes. They don't change our name. Now they're telling, telling us please Afro Trinidadian. Now they're telling us we're Trinidadians. You understand? We're not Trinidadians. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.
Be strong in the Lord!